I wonder you can hear me. Is that your new tape? Star Lord. Who's the guy with the scary eyes? He doesn't have a name. He's one of the space riders. And he's not scary. He's cool. Your space rider certainly got his hands full. Pretty far out. Nobody says far out anymore, Ma. <laughs> Ma. What? Nobody says far out anymore. Oh, well, your mom does. Maybe we should see if we could get tickets to see them live. Really? Mm hmm Your mom may not look it, but I was quite the rocker when I was your age. Your father and I would just lie on the hood of my old Chevy and listen to Black Sabbath and... You like Black Sabbath? Like I said, your mom's cooler than you think. Oh, we'd look up at the stars and he'd tell me all about the places he'd been... Mom? How about some cake, huh? Yeah, I'll be up in a sec. You said that 15 minutes ago. If you don't hurry, I'm gonna eat that whole cake myself. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. <laughs> you wouldn't. Yes, I would. Hey, watch the hair. <laughs> oh! Peter! We've talked about you leaving your toys on the floor. It's not a toy. It's an action figure. More like an action landmine. Stab your foot. I will. He doesn't even... Never mind. Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec. I promise. Right. Need to build up my calluses. Stop doing this, man. It's weird. We are approaching the quarantine zone. How long was I out for? 15,338 ticks. That's very specific. The betrayer is ready to begin our mission. She has requested your presence in the cockpit. Gamora's on our side, Drax. She is the spawn of my sworn enemy, a murderess and a traitor. I do not trust her.
Novacore security guard resets every rotation. We want to be in and out before our code expires, or we'll get stranded. If we wait for the next reset, we'll get a full rotation to do this. Nice. <laughs> oh, why is the Novanet still up? Thought we were going in. Well, it appears the assassin's contacts are as untrustworthy as the betrayer herself. Oh, please don't tell me Gamora's backdoor coats are bust. We nearly went broke getting them. Relax, Rocket. We still got a few ticks before the next time window. The network just reset. You can enter the sequence, Peter. Zero, four, five, one. That's it? Four digits? Suspicious. These security measures are too simplistic for Novacore. It's not that simple. The code only works on this date for this ship. Oh, I get it. Gamora's codes are more like an encryption key of some sort, designed to integrate temporal coordinates and our ship's hard-coded serial and... wasn't very popular in the Shatari army, especially with Thanos in charge. Yeah, it's probably all harmless now. I mean, Novacore had 12 years to get rid of the heavy-duty explosives, right? <laughs> That's why I like you, Quill. You're so pure. Oh, the wonderful and terrible things I could do with all this tech. Stay focused, Rodent. We do not come here to scavenge. Why not? The Milano's weapon systems could use an overhaul. Plus, there's good money in it. The piece that we seek is far more valuable to the Monster Queen of Seknoff Rhyme than any illegally acquired salvage. Whoa! Oh, place is really shifty. I'm not seeing a monster, but that big cylinder up ahead looks like mining ship Peter's friend said to look for. <clears throat> friend? For a night? And you'll see the monster as soon as we place Rocket's monster summoning thingies. Flark, yeah. Group Quill Suda. Team Rockets up first. I still do not understand why I must remain on board with the Assassin. Oh, because you're part of Green Team. You assigned me to the team before you named it. My skin is not green. It's teal. Teal? What? Listen, if we want to trick the monster into going inside that mining rig, we need to place thumpers on both sides. Two sides, two teams. And two clicks at the drop site. The ground's too unstable to land a ship, so you'll need to jump. That's our cue. Let's go, Groot. <laughs> Don't worry! Once the thumpers are placed, we'll meet in the middle, and we'll capture the monster. Together. Very well. My baby. It's a ship, Peter, not a child. Huh. Oh, can you imagine? What, the pink coop? It's custom nano resin, designed to keep all this war stuff from floating away. Peter Quill, the insubordination of the assassin has become insufferable. I'm doing exactly what we planned to do. She is also quite contrarian. We talked about this on the Milano, Drax. Try harder. Settle an argument, Rodent. What is this omnipresent pink substance made of? 
You mean the Ebrium based nano resin cluster foam? Never trust something without many dashes in its name. Is it caustic? Not if it stays outside you. Just don't eat any, or get any in your eyes. I'm thinking that big cylinder thing is our rendezvous? Yeah, that's the mining rig. So weird seeing it all clustered together like this. Bits and pieces of a war that spanned the entire galaxy held together by... pink goo. Ebrium-based nano-resin. Whatever. I'm just saying, it's a lot to take in. I am Groot. Oh, look! Yellow and blue! Looks like an old Novacore frigate. Nice! Come on, dude. People probably died on that ship. Killjoy, why do you even bring us here if the place is so sacred? I'm Groot. I can name at least a dozen planets with monsters on them, so why here? You think it's to impress Gamora? Like... Don't know if you notice, Rocket, but people aren't exactly falling over themselves to hire us. Oh, I have noticed. If this job pans out, sure we'll get money, but also a rich new client. We need to impress Lady Hellbender with a monster she's interested in, not just any old critter. Which is why we should have gone after Fin Fang Foom. We won't impress no one if we're dead. We don't know what it looks like. Quill neglected to get that info while he was flirting on Contraxia. It'll look like a monster worth selling. And I wasn't flirting, I was... Whoa! Okay. I'm okay! Ha! You almost made yourself a very late war casualty. Not funny! You know, I like this. This is fun. The three of us, hanging out, just like when we started this gig, before you-know-who joined us. I am Quill. I do not hate everybody. I tolerate Quill. Quill's a swell guy. Come on, Rocket. Drax and Gamora are valued additions to the team. You're only saying that because she's listening. Careful on that thing, Quill. You spot something out there? There's the mining rig. Any sign of our monster? Not yet. More blue and gold. More Novacore. Yeah, well, at least the dead ones can't arrest us. I am Groot. I told you, we ain't gonna get caught. There's only like three ships left in the entire Nova Corps. Nova Corps has more than three ships. Sure, but you know, they ain't half the space cops they once was. Can hardly keep their own peace without worrying about some old graveyard from the war. Whoa! Pretty sure that way's a dead end. Uh, you sure? Ah, there we go. Path's this way. Come on. How can you even tell? Just trust me, all right? Hey, Groot, you think we could find pieces of the Trion Shard in here? I'm Groot. You never heard of the Trion Shard? Pyramid of pure evil that corrupts everything it comes in contact with. I'm Groot. How do you even know the other way was a dead end? Because, unlike you, I have a very keen sense of direction. <sighs> Just imagine what kind of blasters the Shatari had to use to wreck some of these frigates. I am Groot. I'm not being insensitive. Oh, uh, watch it, Will. Uh, uh, whew. <laughs> All good, no worries. But watch your step, guys. This junk isn't as stable as we think. Uh, that is one big mushroom. Take that, brittle stuff. Ugh. I hate these ship-eating parasites. Flarkas would chew right through the Milano. 
Gross. <laughs> nice splatter. Hey, 50 units says I can clear more of these suckers than you. As if. Whoa, what the? Rocket, did you do that? The scoreboard? You like it? Hacked it into your visor cover last time you took a snooze. You hacked into my stuff? Considering how many times I fixed the flarkin' thing, it might as well be my stuff. Optimal thumper placing distance should be just up ahead. I'm, I'm thinking right in front through the giant hole where this ship's cockpit used to be. Well, that's grim. I'm uh, yeah, try not to think about it. It's better not to wonder what happened to anyone working on these old wrecks. It was a long time ago, anyways. Just, uh, thought I saw a shortcut. shortcut. Right. Go ahead without me. I'll catch up. Okay. There's a craft out Novacore missile bay just on the other side. We'll meet you there. Yellow and blue missile bay. Got it. Okay. Crawling through creepy old ship. No big deal. Easy there, Quill. Pretty sure nothing's gonna jump out at you. Except maybe me and Groot. Hey, Gamora, make sure the Milano don't get stuck in any of this resin. If she did, I would wrench the ship free. Don't worry. I call the worst ship the worst situation. Now this brings back memories. Be warned. I was attacked by strange creatures when installing a thumper. <laughs> Must be working then. What they look like? A spined orb with multiple ocular protrusions. We'll keep an eye out. Get it? Are you trying to bring the whole place down, Quill? I shot a thing. I get it. First tool in the old toolbox. Whoop! Ooh, don't die, don't die, don't die! Aw, oh, hey little guy. <laughs> Whoa! What the fuck? Are you dead, Quill? We can hear your woodsy squeal even without the cops. Little busy! Crap! That's cheating! You guys should have seen that. It was this weird blobby thing. Not falling for this again. Bye bye, little guy! He's fine! First your bubble!
cumbersome. Should have heard him squeal. You must fight with dignity, Peter Quill. Or at least die with it. Not funny. on your gal pal's mystery monster tip. I hope she's legit. Like you could even tell if she had an honest face. Yeah, she did smell like flowers. Trust in the plan, guys. Everything has checked out so far, right down to the mining ship. We put our thumpers in the right places, and we'll bag that monster. Uh, Quill knows all about putting thumpers in the right places. <laughs> and getting monsters in the sack, too. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Son of a schmack! That was too close! You okay, Groot? Well, we're fine, but we can't jump that. You don't gotta jump. There's a sturdy support beam on this side. Get Groot to grow a bridge across. Just ask him nice like. He does it for me all the time. All right, Groot. Let's see that cool bunny. Thing. That's one hell of a party trick, big guy. Gross. More ship eaters. Ah, oh, they're everywhere. All right, back to business. Boom! Right under your nose, Quill. That way, across the gap. Hey, Greenies, if you see any blue and gold ships out there, you'll let us know. We have seen many such ships. He means active ones. We haven't talked about what to do if we run into a Nova Corps patrol. Uh, we'll restrain them until you're done here. Bad idea. Those cops are all connected through their stupid helmets. If they do spot us, all they have to do is close that barrier and we're stuck. If you see cops, you get my ship out of here. Even if it means leaving us behind. Uh, flark that! Trust me, I've dealt with Nova Corps before. Even helped them catch real criminals. I can talk my way out. You think that Milano can outrun a fully powered Nova Centurion? She's done it before. I am Groot. Do I look worried? The resin will hold. I am Groot. You ain't that heavy. I seen this goop anchor a Shatari Dreadnought. We'll be fine. Okay, here we go. All right, set her down right there. Yep, one to go. Flark! No, no! Flark and Skaggy! Kratak and Battery's fried, that's what's wrong. Maybe you put it down too hard. Let's just find a solution. The solution's a new battery, with a charge. Okay. We're on what's left of a ship. Full of ship things. Gotta be things that power ship things around here, right? Yeah. Maybe you're gonna want to use your visor for this. You find a replacement while I finish scraping the fried wires. <laughs> hey! A huge power generator! How do we hook it up? We don't! That thing would toast our little thumper. Can't we condense the power through a routing funnel or something? Don't try to make up tech stuff. It's irritating. Find something else. Any bets on what this monster's gonna look like? How many legs? Like, uh, more than four? It will be majestic. What does that look like? We shall see. Uh, of 
course, it's the worst space ration flavor. This one tastes like dollar store cat food. It makes your teeth oily. Well, come on, man. have your room. There's hardly anything to mess up in there. As opposed to your room, which looks like it's already been messed up by a monster? Hey, I got a system. Everything's where it's supposed to be. <clears throat> Found something with a charge. Kind of looks like a spacey car battery. Okay, this thing isn't gonna zap me, right? The chance is minuscule, at best. You'll be fine. What are you waiting for, Quill? Grab it. Here you go. That'll do nicely. Just let me tinker a bit. I'll have to do some tweaking once I see how much juice this thing puts out. So uh, watch my back. Watch it from what? Rocket! Help me scramble some critters! Oh, no, no, Scott! If I don't rewire this mess, it's gonna go so Looks like it's all on screw! One last freaky eye thing! We're just killing party favors! to see you fix it next time. Come on, two down. Two to go. Groot's wondering if the reward's gonna be worth all the risk we're taking for this job. Me and Groot are nearly unkillable, but what if the rest of you don't make it out alive? If the two of us gotta lug that monster- Guys, we deliver this monster to Lady Hellbender, we'll get bigger payouts, and jobs that don't suck. A ship for each one of us! I mean, a team only needs one ship. Perhaps a more spacious ship. Man, that thing is ridiculous. I think it was a ship or a robot. That's a Cree Century, a robot, but it would have been space worth. <laughs> that ain't even the biggest one. They designed at least five experimental models twice that size. How do you know all this? Because they were my fellow experiments back on Half-World. Most of my parts came from the cybernetics hangar next to the door, so uh, I got a sneak peek at all the new killbots. I can see the parts come and go from my... Uh, uh, my cage. 
I didn't mean to open old wounds. Eh, most of them are just scars now, anyways. I wasn't even a person to the worst of the Kree's mad scientists. More like a real smart walking gun. A very talkative gun. <laughs> yeah, that part was an accident. They tried to fix it a few times. I am Groot. The entire facility was the problem. Groot, I need you to shoot a bridge right into that eye socket. I am Groot. Now, I want to see you do that to something in combat. Wait. Is that? Yes! I'm about to win this bat quill! Gamora, when are you gonna share your contacts and sources? When will you share yours? What? You know about all my guys. Only that you've got a guy that makes the You've got a guy who never says no. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love that guy. And hey, it ain't my fault they know. <laughs> We're inside a giant robot head. And I got robot parts inside my head. You have robot parts inside your head. Inside a giant robot head. <laughs> you guys are so deep. Rocket scores! <laughs> hey, bro, what do you think I should do when I win this bet? I mean with the units he'll owe me once I win. Well, I know what I'll be doing with my winnings. I'm saving up for our next stop on Contraxia to get one of those Zeronian massages. You know what, Quill? I think it's unfair. You got two guns, I got one. I think my points should count double from now on. That's cheating. All right, Thumper goes there, Quill. It's not gonna piss off every critter around, right? Sorry, Quill. Not taking no chances after the last one. I gotta test it real quick. Not again. Hey, Thumper ain't gonna install itself. Rocket! I only flipped the switch on and off to see if it started. Gotta love that kill rate. I know, right? What was that worth? Five points? Oh, come on! You can't just give yourself points like that! Great job. We'll meet you at the mining ship. 